In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Zoom Info search engine to build lists of qualified leads that are ready to buy your products or your services. And make sure to watch this video till the end because I will also show you three other Zoom Info features outside the search engine that you can use to find lists of people that are ready to buy what you have to sell. So the first step for you now will be to uh, find your target accounts. So for that, we're going to use the companies here, search filters. You can expand the filters by clicking on show all filters here and scroll down to the company section. So let's say we want to target companies in the software industry. So you can look here for industry, make sure to select primary. If you want to, to target the primary industry of the company, then you can select an employee count. Let's say I want to target companies between uh, 50 and 200 employees. Then I can uh, also target companies with a specific number of sales, for example. So let's say I need the sales department to be uh, above 10 heads to start selling my product. So I can I can tell that to, to Zoom Info. I can also uh, write some revenue here. Say put dollar, let's say at just one uh, companies that make more than uh, 1 million per year. And here I already have more than uh, 6,000 companies that fit my search criteria. So as you can see, these are pretty basic filters. What is interesting with Zoom Info is that you can use other filters to target companies that are most likely to buy. For example, with the filter funding dates here, we can target companies that have raised funds in the last 30 days. This means that they are growing and they may have the budget uh, to pay you because they have to spend uh, the money they just raised. So you can select here fun, uh, funding funding dates, past funding dates or more, but uh, the more recent it is, the better, obviously. And then here you should go to funding round type and only select uh, the seed rounds because people raising seed money are the most uh, likely to spend them and has uh, the rest of the funding uh, types uh, you will see uh, on this list. So here we go. Here I have 14 companies that fit all my search criteria. Bonus tip for you guys. Here I've used the funding filter to identify companies that are most likely to buy, but there are actually other filters to do that. Uh, you can also use the technology filters here and this filter will display all the companies using a specific technology. So for example, if I want to target uh, companies using WordPress for their website, I can click here and on the session join will be display all the companies uh, using that technology. So you can easily use that for your outreach if you are a competitor or if you sell a similar product because you can mention that in your outreach saying that, oh, I noticed that you use that technology. I think we could serve you better because we offer that feature and then you can uh, detail your value proposition. And by the way, guys, if you want to get notified every time a new company fits your search criteria, you can save this search here by clicking on save and give it a name like US fundraising. And every time a new company fits your search filters, you will get notified by email. And in our case here, it means that every time a new company raises funds, we will get directly notified. It means that we will have a super good timing to reach out to them. That's why I highly advise you to use that feature guys, because with that kind of campaigns, when you got a uh, timing with you, your reply rate are usually much higher. Now, let's say you want to exclude some companies from your search results because they are already clients or they are competitors. You can easily do that with Zoom Info. So let's say I notice that uh, these two companies they are already clients. What I can do is select them by ticking the checkboxes here, click on the, on the three dots, tag companies, and then select clients. If you don't have the tag already, you can create uh, the tag uh, here and then tag the companies then you go to company tags you click on plus you select clients you see that this company will appear and if you want to exclude them from your search result you click on exclude here and you see that right now i have 12 companies so the two companies have been excluded from the search results so once you're done with your exclusions the next step would be to tag the qualified companies you found so for that you can click on select it here, select page, and you can either add these companies to your target accounts or tag these companies and put them in a list like 
ICP uh, companies, for example. And for now, we will move to the next step that is finding decision makers inside these companies. So to find decision makers in this company, super simple. We are going to click on clear all, then go back to company tag here and select here the tag we created, ICP companies. If you created a list, you can do the same thing here. You go there and you select my ticket accounts that will have exactly uh, the same effect. So now we're going to switch to the uh, contact tab. And here we're going to add the list of all the people working in the companies in our lists. But obviously, we don't want to uh, contact everyone. We just want uh, to contact the key decision makers and the, the person that got the budget and uh, the decision power to, to buy our product or our, our services. So for that, here, we are going to head to uh, job title and role, select C-level VP director. And let's say we want to contact people in sales or marketing. Here, in just a few clicks, I add the list of the key decision makers I want to reach out to in my list of accounts. So we know who to contact in these companies. Now the question is how? And for that, Zoom Info is giving us professional emails and phone numbers. And if you want to only get uh, the leads in this list that have a, a business email or a phone number or a business email and a phone number, you can use the contact info filter here that will allow you to spend credits for leads that don't have contact information uh, in the Zoom Info database. So what I would advise you to do is to check here business email and direct phone, mobile phone, uh, depending on what is your favorite outreach channel. So you have the right leads in the right companies with contact information. Now the next step is to export all this data into uh, an Excel file. So for that, you can click here on export and then click on instant export. Wait a few seconds and then you will uh, see on your downloads the file that will appear. You can then upload it to your CRM or send it to your team. Now we are going to open the file to see what data is exported by Zoom Info. So I've opened the uh, Zoom Info file on Google Sheet. And you're going to see that you will have tons of relevant and clean data for your outreach. So we are going to check that together. So here you get last name, first name, salutation, should you give them Mr. or Mrs. Job title, management level, job start. That can be useful because people that just got into their position are most likely to uh, buy new product or services so you can leverage that information in your prospecting messages obviously email address phone numbers uh, linkedin url also if you want to do multi-channel outreach and use linkedin email and phone number in your sequences and uh, then you get some information about the address about the revenue um, about the industries about the fundraising and basically this is one of the most complete source of data uh, you can get you basically have here everything you need to know uh, about your prospect to reach out to them so as you can see zoom info is a great tool to build lead lists the only thing is that it's pretty expensive basically it's a product made for enterprises and not for smbs if you want to buy the product, you will have to talk to their sales team and the pricing will start at 15K per year and goes up to 45K per year. Zoom Info does have a free trial uh, you can use, which is called a Zoom Info Lite. With that, you can get access to uh, the advanced search engine, but you can only download uh, 10 leads per month. You can increase that limit to uh, 25 leads per month if you uh, connect your email accounts. But obviously, if you want to uh, have some volume in your prospecting, you will be limited. That is why if you don't have the budget to pay for Zoom Info, but you need to build lead list, a good alternative for you would be to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is the LinkedIn search engine that will give you access to the LinkedIn database updated by the users themselves and to use Sales Navigator with a third party tool that will allow you to extract, clean the data and find the professional emails. And for example, if you pay for Sales Navigator plus a tool like Eviboot to export and find the emails, you will pay 
less than $2,000 per year, which is obviously much cheaper than the 15K per year that you would pay with Zoom Info. I will now show you a quick demo of the process so you, you can explore uh, that alternative. I am on the Sales Navigator search engine right now, and natively you can't export leads to CSV with Sales Navigator. For that, you will need to uh, download a third party tool like Eviboot, and then you will get this button here, export with Evaboot on your sales navigator. If you want to download the Evaboot Chrome extension, I will leave the link um, in the description. So basically, I have put uh, some, ser some search filters here. I won't tell you how exactly the search engine works in this video. If you want to know more about that, you can check the video that will appear on the top right, which is a complete sales navigator tutorial. But yeah, basically here, I'm happy with my search results. I just need to click on export with Evaboot here. And Evaboot will give me um, all the data here in a CSV file uh, with the professional emails. Here I can select if I want to export the leads with or without the email. Here I want the email. Oh, I just need to name a search and click here. And after a few minutes, I will receive an email with all my leads and their professional emails in a CSV file. So here you can see that my export is running to save your time. I already had it export into a Google sheet here to, to show you the data. But basically you will get first name, last name, email, email validation, position, company name, company website, basically all the info you can find on the LinkedIn profiles of your lead or on their company pages. And that gives you a lot of information you can leverage uh, for your prospecting. So to uh, check the Everboot pricing, you can click on uh, pricing here and you will see that we have a, a credit system. Basically, we, you spend uh, one credit for the LinkedIn data and one credit when the email is found. So for example, if you take the 4,000 credits per month offer, it means that you can export either 4,000 leads without the emails or 2,000 leads with the emails. And basically, if you combine a Sales Navigator plus this Evaboot offer for $200 per month, you get 2,000 leads with emails. And that's how, guys, how you use Zoom Info to build lead list and how you can use this alternative if you don't have the budget. If you want to know more about Sales Navigator and Evaboot, you can check the complete tutorial that will appear just right here. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.